What is going on back our bass fans? All right, today we are going to touch on the subject of winter fishing and a few tips to get you a few more bites. All right, guys. So, first of all, winter fishing can be tough. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do, but there's also on the same aspect, there's a lot of things you can't do. Um, speed fishing is really typically not one thing you want to do in the winter. Um, but with crankbaits now, you know, I know Tackle Bassin come out with that video a couple weeks ago. You know, talking about crankbaiting through the winter. Um, it's a new technique to me that I haven't really played around with much. I did it about three times in the past couple weeks since they brought that video out. Um, I have not had any luck on it yet. I'm not saying it doesn't work. I just haven't had any luck myself. Um, but that is a very, very erratic action and reeling to doing that. So if you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you go out there, check that out. I'm telling you, it's definitely worth the watch and gives you just a little bit something more in your arsenal that you can use throughout the winter. Um, other things typically are going to be, um, you know, your underspins, your swim baits, uh, a bait blade, you know, over bait fish, stuff like that. Um, those are all good options. Um, a jerk bait is always another very good option. Um, but today I actually want to get into something more you want to look for in the winter that will help you out a lot. Um, typically where I live, you know, in December or even into January a couple times, you might have temperatures spike up a few a couple days in a row that might hit like the 50s or maybe even 60s in some areas. Um, guys, if you know a pond to go to, that is a great place to go to go and fish in the winter. Um, you get a you know one, two, three days in a row that have that good 50 or 60 degree temperatures outside. That temperature in the water of a pond will go up a whole lot quicker than it will in any lake, um, just because there's not as much water to warm up. Um, typically, ponds are usually a little bit more dirtier. Um, I know in the winter mine gets pretty pretty clear, but it is a small body of water, so it does warm up a little bit faster than other areas. Um, but with that being said, a pond can actually come up, you know, anywhere from five to even 10 degrees difference, um, on those days like that, or even a couple more, you know, if you've got a three or four day stretch doing that. Um, so look for that. And the main sign that you're going to see that that water temperature is actually coming up. If you don't have a depth finder or some way of telling the water temperature is you're going to see a lot of bluegill and smaller bass that are going to be up on the banks. Um, they're going to get up there. They want to get up there to that, that warmer water. Um, that real shallow stuff that's got, you know, not a whole lot of water around. It's going to warm up pretty quick. And the thing that you really, really want to look for is any dark spots that are in a pond. Um, if you've got stumps, if you've got logs laying down, um, anything that's a darker color that's going to attract a little bit more sunlight and heat up a little bit faster, that is where your bass are going to be. Um, I know typically when I go out to my lakes around here, if I get a couple days like that, that's the first thing I'd look for in those lakes is actually stumps. Um, stumps that are a little bit closer to the, the actual top of the water. Um, that sunlight's going to get to that. It's going to heat them up a lot. And I would say probably 75 or 80% of the time, you will have a bass setting by or even on top of that stump, you know, getting that warmer water. That's what they really want to thrive for. Um, so like I said, if you've got a small pond, a farm pond, or anything like that, that you can actually fish in the winter, you get a couple days warmed up, make sure you're going to hit in that. Um, at that point, you can actually throw a little bit of reaction bait, um, like a square bill in shallower water, um, even a zoom fluke, something like that. Uh, they work very, very well. Um, you can actually get by with a little bit better if you have a small finesse jig. Um, finesse jigs work absolutely perfect for doing that around like i said the lay downs and stuff like that anything that's going to attract a little bit more heat so if you guys haven't tried any of that stuff yet make sure you go out there give it a shot let me know if it works out for you um you guys have any other content you really want to see you know make sure you comment down below let me know um i'd be more than happy to talk to anybody if you have a good idea or something like that we can go over um make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel if you don't mind uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so you're getting notified when I'm putting out more videos. And we'll see you guys again next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.